Alright guys, <clears throat> this is part two of the unboxing slash setup of my weather stations. Um, I have, um, uh-oh. <laughs> um, what do I do with my AAA batteries? Oh, here they are. Okay, um, so I have batteries today. And, huh. So, this is, oops, sorry, had that perfectly and it just fell right over. Okay, so, this is how this is going to go down. Um, we're going to do both setups today. <clears throat> um, so, for the rain gauge, um, you take little itty bitty screws out, and it's this thing right here. And um, you take that out, and you're gonna put it right, put it, in, put them in here, in there. Um, there is a uh, rubber ceiling right around uh, the edges of this. Um, I'll give, you, I'll give you that right here. Um, and this, <coughs> excuse me. And this right here is uh, what keeps the rain from coming out of the. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to pause my music. And this is what keeps the water from coming out of it. Um, this thing does take two AA batteries. So I'm going to install two AA, two AA batteries right into it. I'm going to screw it right back in. So that way we don't lose them. Now, again, do please make sure that when you're installing this, you don't take the rubber ceiling out of it. Or else then this um, ring gauge will be ruined on the first rain event that you have it, that you operate it with. Um, also um, note that uh, um, this is a also very delicate unit. Um, the uh, seesaw-like um, seesaw um, um, how do I put it? Emptier disposal of water. Um, is uh, able is very able to come out of it. Um, I learned that one the hard way. Um, if it does come out, um, there is a metal bar or a metal um, square um, that help that that uh, is run, that runs in there that helps uh, make the unit run. Um, and it's, I don't I do not know exactly which side it goes on, but um, what you do is uh, what I would do is use it is, is power it up and use it until um, you know that it's working properly. Okay, so the rain gauge is now on and running, and we are now um, going to install the batteries to the base unit. No, and uh, also we should probably remove this, move this out of it. Here we go. Power comes right on. Um, and then uh, it will start searching. And here we go. Oh, and it's now running. It's connected. It's running. Now I do wonder how long it does take to for it to um, officially record. So um, we're going to leave that there, and if we see it on the screen, um, we will we will uh, know that's working. Okay, so we'll leave that there to rest. Now I move over to the uh, weather weather station. Um, and this is, again, uh, another unit that I have to use batteries for. Um, and so um, we're going to <coughs> leave that sit right there for a while. We're going to install the batteries into the transmitter first. You always install the batteries into the transmitter um, before, you, before you install batteries into the receiver. And as we can see now, it has pick, picked it up. So that means it is functioning properly. Okay. So the Accurate sensor is now working. I can get this to go in. There we go. 
accurate sensor is now operational. And now we put in two doorways into the receiver. Let's uh, take off this paper. Okay, and here it goes. There it goes. The uh, weather station is now also now operational. And we will let that stand right there. It is now picked up the transmitter. And again, it is fully operational. <coughs> Oh wow, it has figured out that today is October 5th, and it, indeed it is to October 5th and to 11 p.m. That is very cool. Um, what is, let's see here, is this, okay, good, it's right there. Um, so this here is your forecast. This is a 14-day learning mode. Um, it does that, um, that, it does that when you get a new, um, a new unit. Um, here we go, that's better. And this is your pressure history um, graph, moon phase, and current pressure. So, um, yeah, it looks like we have set up everything that we need have needed to set up. So, thanks for watching, and have a good one.